Foundation of America is taking strides towards solving the mystery of lupus and helping those who suffer with the devastating disease. Joining us is MD and PhD, Alfred Kim. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Dr. Kim. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. What is lupus? So lupus is short for systemic lupus erythematosus. It is a chronic autoimmune disease that can affect multiple organs. So the chronic nature implies that it's incurable. It is a lifelong condition, but yet it is treatable. So people, that's the reason why they come to physicians like us, is to reduce the symptoms, improve quality of life, and, over, over, um, and of course, improve um, their survival. The autoimmune aspect implies that there is an immune component that is recognizing themselves that drives inflammation. So instead of their immune system fighting off germs, it also recognizes themselves as a germ. And so it can induce inflammation within various organs. So it basically attacks the body because it thinks the body is not essentially a, good thing. a pathogen. Exactly. Wow. Who's susceptible to lupus? So lupus can affect anyone, but there are certain biases that it possesses. So 90% of lupus sufferers are women. But of the 10% of the men that have lupus, their disease is actually more severe. So that actually is an interesting paradox about lupus that being female gives you an increased propensity for lupus, but actually also may protect you once you have lupus in terms of the severity of disease. Also, in, on top of that, it, also, it has a, a, a racial, uh, different races of, are disproportionately affected by lupus. So African Americans are, tend to have lupus uh, more frequently and also more severely than other uh, races, such as European-based uh, people. What does lupus look like if someone's suffering? So I mentioned that it affects multiple organs. And so the heterogeneity of disease is actually very challenging to recognize. So the most common symptoms are going to be things like fatigue, joint pain, rash, things that a lot of people have already suffered at some point in their life. So the problem really under, the, the problem that underlies the disease is the fact that everyone has different sets of these symptoms. And so this is the reason why they come to physicians that specialize in lupus in order to under, identify whether or not a certain symptom or set of symptoms really is due to this autoimmune nature of the disease or could be another explanation. Is there something people should be looking for that might indicate, hey, it's time to get to the doctor and get checked out? Uh, is it the type of thing that the earlier they find out, the better for you? What, tell me those things. Absolutely. So uh, like I mentioned before, the earliest symptoms are vague and not very specific. But one of the symptoms that I really uh, like to focus on is sensitivity to the sun, ultraviolet light that induces a rash or significant fatigue. Um, and certainly, the earlier we can recognize that someone has lupus, outcomes are definitely better. Wow. So if someone, is it something that you find people sit and think, hey, I've got lupus, or they go in there because, doc, I don't understand why this is going on, and then the doctor does a test and you find that out? Yeah, so it works both ways. So we have some patients who are very educated. They go on the Internet. They look at the symptoms and, frankly, are confused because of how many symptoms can be seen in lupus and how many of them are common and shared by other diseases. So usually what ends up happening is that they do see a physician. They do get some testing. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the tests actually aren't specific enough for the diagnosis of lupus. And that's the reason why seeing a lupus specialist is very helpful. So the really the striking aspect of disease, I think, is in the delay of diagnosis from the onset of symptoms. In the USA, with our current healthcare system, it takes usually about five and a half years from the onset of symptoms before the diagnosis of lupus can be established. Wow. You brought a short video with you. We're going to watch that video and go right to a break, and we'll continue talking when we come back. Let's take a look at that video. There's certain things I can't do, but I still get up every morning and do it. Someone once told me, but you don't look sick. Just like anyone else, I eat right, exercise, and get the right amount of sleep. Some days, this is easier said than done. If it was up to me, I would stay in bed all day. Friends don't understand me canceling on our plans when I'm tired. And work doesn't understand why I call in sick when I sound just fine. It's hard to understand when you can't see anything wrong. I'll handle tomorrow when it gets here. Each day is a different hill to climb. I am 21 years old, and I have lived with lupus for seven years, and I'm not the only one. Over five million people worldwide struggle with lupus every day. 
To learn more about this disease, go to lupus.org. By knowing more, we'll be able to answer the questions that surround this mysterious disease.